Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Flee! Flee, Tara! No, 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 no. Okay, Yamato's gonna probably hit me again, right? I got three DCPs left. Okay, we're still okay there. Oh, that's not good. Place some action, Mr. Sulu. Yes. Damage report. Ow. Now I... So, Super DDs? No. We, we lack the guns, we lack the, 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 we, we lack the speed, we lack the, the bombs. We have so much, so much less tools to work with, and we don't turn at all. So no, they're not Super DDs, they're not. They do have one advantage, but I think is the reason why I play them a lot, is that they um, actually can um, negate or mitigate plane spotting. I love my torpedo boats, I love to play my Shimakas a lot, uh, especially if you're in your Asashio, for example, and you're doing your thing, trying your best, outplaying the enemy, uh, trying to keep your distance from any DDs, and just having that whole cat and mouse game, and suddenly Kara flies over, and just doesn't attack, just flies over, and keeps flying over, and over, and you have no defense. You, you can't even kill a single fighter in that thing, you know? <laughs> you, you, at least with a submarine, you can just go, oh, stupid Kara, I, I go under and just disappear for a little bit, you know? But for whatever I want to do with a submarine, I need to risk my ship to get close enough. I'm also in range of bombs and stuff. So, I don't see them as super anything. No. No. Homing torch really to a second magic button makes them immune to damage on radar. Um, no, not really. The homing torpedoes are a problem because as soon as I home in on you, for example, I pinged your ship and I, they're homing on you. You know where the torpedoes are coming from because you've seen the ping come in. You know what part of ship they're homing into and if you... You can dodge the, hope, the the ping, by the way. You saw me dodge the ping earlier. Um, because you can see the approach. You can bait that ping on your nose, which I usually try to do with other ships. I bait on my nose, and then make, and then I'm in control of the torpedoes coming towards me. And then I can 9 of 10 times, not always. If you're stationary, you're screwed. Don't be stationary, don't be reversing. But as long as you're moving, 9 of 10 times, you can actually uh, whip them around you because you're in control. For example, there's now a ping coming in. I get hit. What I do, I keep on a slight angle towards torpedoes, preferably outside edge. So I want to go. I want to make sure the torpedoes want to go to this side of me. And then I just, just before they hit me, I just slow down and, and turn a little bit, and they will all go right next to me. Don't overturn, then your back will hit it. But just slow down and move in. It doesn't have to be full stop either. It's really easy to do, and I've done it many times. I can show it for you if you want. I've dodged them many times, Vera. Oh. <laughs> You go to my YouTube's, watch it. <laughs> Dodging them is easy because you're in control of the torpedoes. You decide where they go, and that means you can manipulate them. It doesn't hundred percent always guarantee because I mean you can't always hundred percent. Sometimes there is a battleship to your side. You can't turn because you get full broadside if you if you turn. But then the torpedoes, the home torpedoes, don't do insane damage. They do good damage. That it's not natural at all, but. It doesn't one-hit most ships. It can one-hit um, DDs, who are usually fast enough to get around, and they're so nimble, man. If I don't get a double ping on them, which is if they're moving hard, then they can 9 of 10 times actually dodge the torpedoes. I'm not saying it's easy, you need to practice it. It's not something that just you get for free. But home torpedoes are easily dodgeable, man. Easily. If you can't, you need to practice more. That, that's really simple. <laughs> ah, let's see. We got an Elbing. We got. Okay, so they don't know I'm here. And there's a smoke screen. Why not drop it? It's mine at all. And he's going ahead. Okay, we need to make a full turn here so we can get behind it because the iron's just in my way. I wanted to start shooting something. Uh, we are a Ragnar's over there. Check. That's a radar. Ooh. Now we know this Mino. Actually, it could be Elbing and Mino together. Are they together? Do not. There's a hit. Random hit. Ooh, yummy. Out of range. There's Elbing. There's Elbing. Hello. No, he's gone. Okay, we got four kilometers. I don't want to ping him. I don't think he'll be turning too much. So put him over here. Let's see what that does. I don't want to be spotted yet, because I haven't been spotted yet. Oh, mm, okay. Uh, actually, this is a Hydro Radar, then. So, Mino is a Radar Mino, and he's using Elbing Smoke. That's why Elbing didn't smoke up over there. Ah, yes. 
So they are kind of working together. Okay. I think I go for Yami over here. Knowing that poor Fafon is over there, he can't get me. Oh, there's uh, a guy. Hello, guy. Your, uh, your engine seems to be broken, sir. That piece of DCP should be down. There's your DCP. Wait for it. Now, what we do need in this game is that uh, both DDs and cruisers get a longer duration on their, on their uh, DCP. Five seconds is not nearly enough, because now he just used it, and he can't defend himself anymore against those torpedoes, although he will probably outrange him if he goes forward. If he stops there, he gets hit. If he keeps going, he should be able to dodge them still. Just simply range. But that's a buff we need in the game, that all uh, cruisers and DDs get a longer duration on... Uh, long action duration on the DCP. Also, that's two different targets. Yeah, it is. So I think they're gonna miss. Yeah, they're about, about to edge the edge end of range. And they're no longer a green line there, so they're gone. Those are gone. I don't know, man. My interaction with subs always one-sided at this point. I just literally turn around from sub flying regardless of situation. Um, that is a way to deal with it, but you can fight them. You can fight them really well. Uh, also, do not forget to bomb them. If you have an idea where he is, an inkling where he is, and I use a mod right here that shows me when he pings, shows me a little location there, because it used to be in the game, and I think it should still be in the game. But uh, always use your bombs. A lot of people just don't even bomb, because they think, I will never hit, and yeah, if you don't even try, then you will always miss, right? So only counter my experience, you run away. Uh, it's not always the case, it, it depends. If you have s people behind him, for example, I'm kind of alone as flank now. I don't have support here. This is the moment where a DD could try to hunt me down, or a, a cruise could try to hunt me down. Because I don't have 10 people shooting at you while you're hunting me down. Okay, this is going to be painful. And as you can see, the, 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 the aiming is pretty easy, because I'm... Yeah, let's go with heavy hitters. Maybe that will work, with 6 seconds. Now, these won't home, and there's also a uh, slower... I mean, there's still good speed on these ones. Most of the time, they're really bad. It's a really bad angle. Is he reversing or something? I don't know. Okay, he's going that way. I need a 3 kilometer rule, because that's the stupid thing where I can't defend myself. And I think we don't gonna make with the back torpedoes here. Uh, this looks good, though. Yeah, this looks good. Now, these are the heavy hitters. These should hit for a good amount. Now, 2.9. I can't do damage to them now. There's no point in launching anything here. So, I need to wait. The enemy team has taken the lead. Wait for it. He's still going my way, so 3 kilometers is far enough. Um, he's probably going further north. So, I go this way. I have 2 minutes to go. But it was located by Holland over there, so he's probably hunting me right now. Let's have a look. Yeah, there he is. There's Holland. Right there. Also, that I can see through islands with this is stupid. I hate that. There's too many things that spot through islands. There's no need for that. Just put away. I, I want to. I want this game to allow for ambushes again, where people just hide, hide by the islands and no radar, hydro, or whatever goes through it, you know? That would be so fun, but they made this thing also go through islands, so... Yay! Game design. Fun. How is it not Super DD? Well, simple. I'm running out of oxygen if I'm too close, which I'm going at, uh, what? Uh, wait, we're going faster? 23 knots? Okay, we're going fast with this one. Okay, still 25 knots here. Curious what the speed is. Most of them go 17 knots at this range, but... Okay. Anyway, where is the guy? Okay, they're, up. they're going away. Up we go. I put a lot of effort in to put my damage out. The damage is okay here, not great. Team is still dying. Check. Uh, we're too close. Too close, too close, too close, too close, too close. That is not good. That is not good. Now we can go up. Yeah. Yeah. Also, these things also go always over islands, you know? So, island hiding is not an option with these things. But very often... Uh, the team just dies outright, and torpedoes are always slower than guns, than the shells. So they're always more dodgeable than shells, even if they're homing. Even then. Now, what are you doing? 
I mean, if you're stationary or reversing, you're a free target. But if you're not, then we can do things. He is from the island. I don't think he moves on much further. Let's go for these. Let's go for these. These are homers, right? I hope they are. They are. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Flee! Flee, Tara! No, 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 no. Okay, Yamato's gonna probably hit me again, right? I got three DCPs left. Okay, we're still okay there. Oh, that's not good. Ow. Yep. Ow. Now I need to go somewhere where hunters expect me to be. And I have only one minute to, to do that in. Now, this is still arriving. He didn't disappear. It. That's his mistake. He could have gone forward there. He was iron to his left. He didn't. So, that's not on me. Now, where is Holland? Yeah, there he is. Okay. He expected to go this way, so let's go the other way. And hope we get out of range. Hopefully. But we are stealth. Of course, on the water we're stealth here, but because this runs out and we don't have a refill button like the Germans have, which is extremely strong. Uh, and we are we can't defend ourselves on the surface. I don't think I have a. Do I have a? I do have a gun. Apparently, somewhere, somewhere there is a gun. I don't even know where. Okay, 20 seconds. Let's see where he is. Ooh, it's too close. But he's going the wrong way. If you go down one deeper, just to make the timer to go up longer, so he might be out of range before we go up. Come on. Three, two. One, he should be out of range. Hopefully, he's somewhere over here now. But he does have RPF on me. So, as soon as I come up, he will know where I am eh? and he comes in again. So, I need to go straight to Thunderer there. To make sure I actually have some distance on him because um, there it is. Okay, running, running, running. And this. Yeah, one per one second. Uh, I think two per second. Still, it is pretty slow. But I hope he has to turn around here and he's not already nosing, because, uh, yeah. I do keep him busy, though. I do keep him busy. Team is winning the other flank. We're doing good. I made you play DM. It lives or dies being stationary, just such as grief me for free. Yeah, DM is hard to play against it, although you do have the radar and hydro. Use those things. I see way too many people who don't use their radar or hydro when they're being spotted. For example, I spot them. Um, if I would spot this, uh, this Holland here, for example, right now, there's no one else around. It could only be the sub. If you're being spotted, he's either on the surface or a periscope depth. Either one, or else he can't spot you. So you know that either radar or hydro would spot him. I don't know, top of my head, the um, DM's uh, uh, air detection range. So that's a thing. And also, the, uh, as long as you know where the ping comes from, DM has a has high firepower. So if you just shoot the water where it pinged from, you, I have been killed many times by DMs and Salem just shooting the water. It really works, because your DPM is so enor enormous. It's hard to choke, it's possible at 2 kilometers. But you do force on the water, you force to use this. It, it This is a... A tool of attrition. You you must make sure that, that our, our oxygen goes low enough we can't flee in the water anymore. Which is kind of easy to do because to get to you, mostly, you have to go underwater, get past your DDs, underneath your planes. We have used already a, a good part of this. So, having that hydro up means we're forced to be under, so we can't just uh, for free regain that oxygen. And at some point we have to be up and then your radar will still get us. And just where you guess us to be, if you see torpedoes coming in, drop bombs in that direction. I've had many submarines I never saw, just by throwing bombs in the direction where I thought, hey, I see torpedoes there, those are suspicious. If I would be there, I would be going this way, and then just launch them and see what happens. No guarantees, and it was practice. And because I've played them a lot, I know where I would expect them to be. So, uh, Holland is not going for us, he's somewhere near the fence. But he's stationary, uh, there's DCP. Now, that was a good DCP. If he accelerates here, he, he, he avoids all of these. He can. But he needs to go full gas a minute ago. I think he already makes it anyway. 
But this needs to be works long enough to actually keep him safe. I may have hit one. That's it. There we go. Now, where are you going? You're going in front island. So I need to stay away from three kilometers to hit them. Hunt is far enough gone, so Stundera. Gonna use back to pieces of this. But yeah, in a DM, um, what you can do, look where your own uh, submarine spawns. Because submarines always spawn directly opposite each other, unless they're in a division. If they're in a division, then you never know. But else, they will always spawn directly opposite each other. So if I spawn at um, the edge of C here, then they will spawn three up the edge of H there, for example. You can exactly see where they are. And there's some maps in which you already know where they will most likely be going. Because the guy is spawned in one of those funnels, where they only can go one direction, basically. I will, uh, if, we, if you see the map today, I'll show you where it is. Where you can always know, oh, uh, they're going to be there, so I'm just going to get my battleship, cruise, whatever, sail that direction, bomb there, and 9 of 10 times hit the submarine. If I have an undiffed sub, I, I leave the flank. That's an option. Um, it, it works. I wouldn't do that, because I love hunting submarines. I think it's fun. But I can do a DM and see if we can find a submarine. Why not? Why not show it? Show is better than tell, I think. But the most important thing is people don't know what they can do, what they can't do. And therefore they're too, too afraid. And with the new change with this, their, their bombs are getting really accurate. Look at this. This is another guy who gets really accurate. Now I need to get my... Yeah. Uh, fix that. Now is this DCP should be running low about now. I don't think these will home in on him anymore. They're so close, but... Oh, oh timing was perfect. Look at the timing there. Oh, we got him, we got him. Still got him. I thought they were too close. Oops. Lucky. Uh, I live. I live. That was close. <laughs> that was way too close. <laughs> oh, uh, tip by the way. If you use spotters or fighters, which you, if you're a DM player, you don't. But if you're on a ship, you could. Um, for some reason, if I'm underwater and no one is spotting... If you have your fighter up or your spotter pin up, I can see the spotter or fighter pin flying around. I don't know why that is. I don't think it's intentional, but it's just part of the game. If I'm underwater, no one is spotting it for me. You you pop your fighter plane, spotter plane, I can see it flying around. So, do note that. So, I, I do tend to know where people are if they just have a fighter up or spotter up. Because you see them circle and say, oh, he's in that circle. Go there. Ah. But if you want to hunt submarines, the best ones are uh, carriers. Although they're stupid and scared of them. But carriers are the best in the submarine ships as well, always. Because they have those never missing bombs. They actually never miss. Over 3,000 games, I only dodged two times the, sub the, the carrier's bombs. That's it. Now, um, we need the points. Hmm. I have to find the Holland here. And I'm low on HP. Let's stay under. I need to turn around. I think he goes this way, seeing where he was lost. There he is. Now, I want to go up and down. Hope we live. Up. I need to see him. Down we go. There you are. There. I need to hit him before it gets close enough. There's a the ping. There's his DCP. Good. Good, good. We have a chance now. He could easily kill me, but those, those, just shelling me would kill me. Down we go instantly. There's his DCP gone. Punch two. Down, 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 down. Uh, I think I'm already dead here. Okay, no thing. Down we go. Okay. No longer going up. His DCP is down. We baited that out. Look at he's too early. Now, will we live? Now this is all on his nose, it will be hard to dodge for him, because I got a double ping, he's coming in. But I've seen people dodge that, not this guy. But that's very, really hard to dodge, that's the point as well, because I was... I mean, look at me. I think one or two more shells and I will be dead. And uh, he's still on the points, to, oh no, Thunderbird still lives. I, I can... can I reach him in time? Uh, not sure if I can. 
Don't know what his HP is either. Hmm. Okay. I'm not sure if I can reach him. He just runs away and he wins. If he runs to the, to the corner, he wins. So if he's stupid and goes towards me and try to hunt me, then we have a small chance. Oh. <laughs> You're assuming I don't run fighter on DM. Yes. I mean, ever since they removed this that second fighter, did you do you remember the second fighter? It was the second spotter. You could have a, uh, a skill that gave you a second spot or fight, and it was actually really fun at the end. It was really cool to use. I mostly use it on Salem. I, I prefer my Salem over my DM because I love the super heal. And I go for HG spam. But, uh, yeah, the double fighter thing. Or, I think it was fighter. Or, I think it was fight, fighter, not spotter. It was really fun, man. I prefer DM just because the radar and the le ledge mod. Yeah, that's a good choice. Good choice. I, uh, I didn't get the Moines line until I got... Oh, he's actually do. Now he's going to the sea, he's going to sea. Still, I now know where he is. And will it matter? I don't think so. Because, uh, yeah. I don't think it will matter. <laughs> oh well, oh well. <laughs> Ooh, they maybe work for this one. But um, did you know that uh, submarines are the ship type in which you get the most zero damage games in? Because when your team is good, as a submarine, you need to spot your targets. And if your team is good, they will kill the target before two piece arrive. A lot of times. So I got a lot of zero damage games in this, in, in all these subs. But I'll take up my DM. Uh, don't judge me too harsh on my DM plays, because it's been months. I don't really play DMs too often. I prefer heavy cruisers. But uh, let's go to the M and see if we can hunt some uh, submarines. Now, if you want to hunt submarines, you do need RPF. RPF is kind of mandatory for submarine hunting. If you don't have that, don't bother. <laughs> because it's just a bad plan. I think talk about the natural subs like talk about damage with CVs. It's more everything else about the game. Not really. On CVs, they don't have to risk their ship. They don't have to get close. They don't have to get around enemies, around radars, hydros, all that stuff. Um, submarines have to get around all that stuff. They're relatively slow compared to the other ships who do the same job. Uh, this was a game was able to stay stealth for a long time. 